what is your take on plant medicine and the use of it to get to that level mm. of consciousness? It's a complex question uh, because, uh, first of all, in, in Peru, ayahuasca was used, and other parts of uh, Colombia, other parts of South America, it was used by shamans mm -hmm. who were extremely well trained in dealing with the mindset of the campesinos, of, of the tribal people in those areas, and they served the tribes. And for the most part, it was the shamans who took the plant medicine mm -hmm. on behalf of the clients, not the clients who wow. took it. The shamans took it, and they were then able to see whatever demonic powers or thought forms were oppressing the person and remove them, and then help bring t divine energy in. But a shaman was someone who was well-trained for decades and apprenticed to another mm -hmm. shaman mm -hmm. and learned how to make use of the plant medicines properly. You come into the West with an entirely different uh, psychic structure of the Western ego, very different than the tribal <laughs> ego in, in South America. A and that same medicine can have very different effects. Mm -hmm. It will help some people get to a higher state for a few hours mm -hmm. but and believe they went through ego death, but it was a delusion. They come back and their egos are still there. Mm -hmm. It can have some people have mixed uh, experiences where they have some super conscious elements come into their trip and some subconscious fantasies and delusions come in and they will have uh, they'll be more confused when they come out of it than they will be helped you have others who have a latent psychotic fragment in their subconscious and they will literally go psychotic and they won't come back Wow. And I know people, I've worked with many people who have taken the mm -hmm. plant medicines. I have also done them. I'm experienced in this. Yeah. And I don't recommend it except in certain conditions where there is really a, an adept uh, shaman who also is psychoanalytically trained, mm -hmm. who understands who should take it and who shouldn't in the first place, and how to deal with bad experiences and how to deal with uh, spirit possession that can sometimes mm -hmm. happen and other kinds of of uh, supernatural phenomena that most therapists don't know how to deal with and most shamans don't know how to deal mm -hmm. with. And there can be a shattering of the, the psychic vessel uh, of a person so that they can never come back together again and they're wow. destroyed for life. So, and even the people who are helped the most by ayahuasca uh, and I myself am in that category. You don't get liberation from it. Mm -hmm. You get a glimpse. The same with whether it's mushrooms or DMT in some other form. You, you get a glimpse uh, of the, some higher dimensions, not the absolute reality. Right. Mm -hmm. you, you get an intermediate plane mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. where there are spirits in the plural. Right. And some good, some not so good. And, and uh, at best you will experience angels and you'll en encounter uh, information from the economy records and other right. other things that will help you in your life but you won't achieve liberation spiritual liberation has to be done without drugs it has to be done in a meditative state where, where it is your own will to transcend that is responsible mm -hmm. for it not some supplement that was artificial or temporary it has to be something that then you can sustain you have to turn nirvikalpa samadhi into sahaja samadhi which means a level of samadhi that you you never leave that right. stays there even when you're in an ordinary waking state you're always connected right. you never lose your god consciousness and and without having done that liberation is uh, mm -hmm. only a dream it's not real yet